doesn't seem to be any uh, obvious limit to the uh, reusability of the, the vehicle. Um, and yeah, we do intend to fly the Falcon 9 booster until we see some kind of a failure with the Starlink missions, obviously just have that be a life leader. Um, and we're just actually talking in the in the control room, uh, so we're talking with the um, between SpaceX and NASA, and we're like wondering, you know, what like what's the optimal number of launches for, you know, do you want to be on a on a brand new booster or well, you probably don't want to be on the life leader for for a crew mission, <laughs> um, but uh, but you know it's probably good to have a, a, a flight or two under its belt for the booster to have flown you know once or twice. I think if it was like a you know an aircraft uh, coming out of an aircraft factory, you'd want the aircraft to probably have gone on a test flight or two before you know you put passengers on. So uh, you know I think that's probably you know a couple of flights is a good number to have for a for a crew booster and. Um, and in the meantime, we'll we'll keep flying the uh, the life leader. We've got nine flights on one of the boosters. We're gonna have a tenth flight soon with a Starlink mission. And um, yeah, we're learning a lot about reusability, and it's it's a hard problem for rockets. I mean, there's a reason it's not it, it's really you know we're, right now Falcon 9 is the only um, partially reusable rocket being flown. You know, with the booster coming back and the, the fairing coming back, but we still can't, we don't reuse the upper stage or the Dragon trunk. And so with the Starship, we're aiming just like hopefully, hopefully reuse the whole thing. Um, this, this is a hard problem for rockets, that's for sure. And it's taken us, uh, we're like 19 years in now. Um, but I, I, th the, the, I think we can see I, the, the Starship design can work. It, it's just, it's a hard thing to solve. Um, and the support of NASA is very much appreciated in this regard. Um, I don't know. I, th I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work. It's been 19 years uh, since starting SpaceX, and uh, certainly a lot of adventures along the way. Some some tough times and a lot of good times. Um, I'd say it's only recently though that I I think that I I, I feel that uh, full and rapid reusability can be accomplished. Um, I wasn't sure for a long time, but I am sure now. As you know, I tend to be somewhat optimistic with respect to schedules. Uh, um, I, f I feel I should acknowledge this, uh, <laughs> um, but um, you know, so take that with a grain of salt. But um, I, th I think it's not out of the question that it could be ready to fly, fly people in a couple of years. Uh, <laughs> yeah, otherwise, it's like hop in. We're we're going to Mars. No, not quite. Not yet. <laughs> Um, it's got some work to do, but make, making rapid progress. I think if the we, we got to make sure we're, we're accelerating the rate of innovation, and then it, it could be ready in a couple of years. We're we're we're, build, we're building, gonna build a lot of rockets, and we're gonna probably smash a bunch of them. But um, I can, I think I think this I think it will happen. I think 2024. This seems likely. We're gonna aim for sooner than that, but. I think, uh, you know, I think we, this, this is, this is actually doable. Yes.